I want all the smoke. What about KSI? I think I'm done, bro. He understands it. He admitted on his YouTube video that I'm a better boxer. I wish him the best. He's killing it in music. I have respect for him. It's just over. Bro, Jake Paul thinks he's smart, doesn't he? Like, and in truth, he is smart, isn't he? Like, you don't get to his level without being a bit smart or smart. And people's gonna say, "Yeah, Logan's his brother. That's how he became big." Look at Deji. Like, Deji's literally a clown. Look how big KSI is, and Deji's literally his bitch. And obviously, you're gonna get some Deji fans hating on this, but it's the truth. Like, if you have to be real, Jake Paul right now is as big as KSI Logan. He's in that level. He wasn't at, he wasn't two years ago, but now he is. And in terms of the boxing world, he's probably bigger than both of them. Because he's the one that's knocking everyone out. He's the one that's calling on McGregor, Mayover. He's the one that's stealing people's hats. He's the controversial one and controversy sells. But to the title of the video, I feel like Jake Paul's trying way too hard to be to get KSI fans on board. Like if you watch his last two uh, videos that, that you've seen of him talking about KSI, I feel like Jake Paul's seen how the UK fans have accepted Logan after Logan has become friends with KSI and after Logan joined forces with KSI and they've become cool. They've done videos on Impulsive and on Sidemen and on KSI's show. So people are now, the KSI fans, huge community, which Jake Paul acknowledges, Jake Paul now knows that it will be beneficiary for him to befriend KSI. And this is what I feel like he's trying to do. Like, if you watch these clips, he started to, like, back KSI and say he's doing well and stuff ever since Logan has befriended KSI and has become friends. And after seeing that, seeing how much love Logan's getting from the UK fans, Jake's like, bruh, I need some of that. Because in truth, I feel like Jake Paul probably does actually believe that the KSI fight is dead. So there's no point really bad mouthing him. There's no real point. So just go the Logan route and just suck him off a bit. And then hope that KSI fans like him, which is kind of, it's kind of working. Like I'm seeing some of the comments in, uh, in Jake Paul's TikTok where, where he spoke about KSI and he said, oh, he's, he's right, he's... Made a song with Lil Wayne, the song's popping and stuff. And the comments are like, wow, Jake Paul's matured, Jake Paul's changed, Jake Paul, what a guy. So I feel like he's, he's, he is checking people because you have to remember who Jake Paul is. He's very manipulative. That's how he got all of them people to sign the 20% contract when he was Team 10 leader. So yeah, comment down below you lot's thoughts on this. Do you lot agree or agree with me that you think that Jake Paul's trying way too hard to get KSI fans, KSI fans on board to support now, get the UK fans behind them? Or do you think he's been on it? Nah, he's not even been on this. Forget that talk. He's just, used, he's just trying to manipulate the KSI fans into thinking that he's changed and now that he's trying to be cool. So yeah, like, comment down below you lot's thoughts on this. Also predict Jake Poo versus Tyron Ridley. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe for more bollocks and peace. Mm -hmm.